How's it going on, homie? Keep it really loose. We'll take you through it one scene at a time. And action! Hey, what's up, MP? Luca, how you doing, man? Hey, I've been watching your games, and I'm really impressed. Now you're trying to craft him into, like, a better player. And action! Got a quick moment now to take a look at the long-term rebounding numbers over several seasons for him. On the boards, he's been a much bigger presence these last few years than he had been prior. And he can be counted on now to make an impact with his rebound. And that's a product of all the work he's put in down low. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. You've got Wilson, the monster out there with Cowboy. Then it's the kid, and it's Miracle Man in at the one. And for Portland, the high-powered backcourt pair. Lillard and McCullough. Tatum out there with Adebayo. And it's Barnes in at the small forward. Now for the teams that are clearly rebuilding, should they simply play the young guns, Greg, no matter what, or they make them earn their minutes? Kev, you know, I don't know that there's a, a, a right answer to that. I think it's really about the personnel and the personalities of the guys on that roster. And Really, the front office should play a big role in that as well. But it, it's a it's a hard call. You got to believe enough in those young guys to say, hey, that's our future. We're going in that direction. Uh, but you still got to also take care of your veteran guys who are kind of setting the table for your future. And Lillard throws it down. Outstanding handles from the clever guard. Lillard crafty with it in his hand and can create for anybody. It's hauled in by Bam Adebayo. Back to Tatum. McCollum against Leonard. On the wing. Wilson grabs the board. Here's Miracle Man. McCollum trying to get open. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Now off the inbound. Ice yet again. Uses the glass to drop it in. Six points for Miracle Man. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. It makes sense, right? You're trying to get off to a fast start, and he can help with that. Now here's McCollum. He's coming off a 19-point game against Orlando. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Bradley Beals checked in for Los Angeles. Here's Tyler, and Adebayo sends it back. Huge block by Adebayo. Plays the game with aggression and shows no mercy. And Tatum over to help. Unloads, and a little luck that time, but it drops. You know, I didn't find a very good shot on that possession, but still able to get two points. About two minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Lillard. Banked in off the glass. Lillard's got his second bucket tonight. And for someone who spends most of his time on the perimeter, Lillard's a terrific finisher inside. His moves to the basket aren't tentative. They are strong. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow! It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee! Offensive rebound. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. Cullum finds Lillard. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds as the Portland Trailblazers retain possession. Morantz, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Here's McCollum. That's in coming off an assist from Adebayo. And right there, I like how Adebayo takes his time, scans the floor, makes the unselfish play. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force them to the line. The Los Angeles, they have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Kemp's checked in for Otto Bayer. Keith comes in for Tatum. Bridges, he's checked in for Barnes. And Raul Neto subbed in for C.J. McCollum. Here's Keith. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Last time they met was in Los Angeles. And it was pretty much a cakewalk for them the last time these two squared off and had a clear advantage on the backboard. They generated second chance opportunities on one end, preventing them on the other end. That was the story of the game. Money's checked in for Wilson. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. Alert against Beal. Keith, he can't get it to go. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And after that game, it was impressive to look at the box score and see the work they did at the free throw line. That was a concerted effort to try to get... the line as much as possible and it really made a difference Greg you showed toughness and grit when you played you've got to succeed in this league with those things at the forefront right being tough being gritty and there are several players uh, whose style you admire that play like I mean no doubt about it, it you have the superstars the, the Kawhis the LeBrons who continue to do it they, they can intimidate you physically uh, but they also provide tremendous skill set. Uh, but two other guys, Russell Westbrook, Jimmy Butler, they're also guys that exemplify that toughness. Uh, you know, two guys, when you look at those two, a lot of people didn't project them to be what they've become. And it's impressive to watch them take the floor night in and night out. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And just tax a few more points onto their lead with the Tomahawk. Time out, time out. That's bringing it down hard. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. Uh, they just got overwhelmed. We knew that game was going to be a tough one for them, and we were right. Ugly, ugly display. I thought they'd be more competitive, but I was wrong. Here's Neto. He's covered by Leonard. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. The Trailblazers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. So he gets them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Here's ABC. Keeps it alive, and Leonard stays with it. Leonard's got six. Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a tap. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? He hits both from the strike. Los Angeles leading by four. Here's Leonard, and then Leonard with the dunk. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. He rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Morant against Lillard. Keith passes to Lillard. Here is Keith. This one for three. Second shot opportunity, and Kemp puts it in. It's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. <laughs> he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. And the rejection by Embiid. One of the premier shot swatters in the world. The length of Embiid makes it hard to be scored on. They keep calling his number which is partly how they've dug this hole. 
finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Count it good. 11 points in the game. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Embiid's shot is good. With the ball in his hands, Ja draws so much defensive attention. Got his teammate a clean look. Lillard outside. Misses the jumper. And so it's Los Angeles holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. Damian Lillard told us before the game... Beginnings. You know, I'm from. Uh... Well, some of the best stories in our league are about guys who struggle to get to where they are today. And I really hope the young guys out there are listening to this. You don't have to be a five star prospect to achieve your dreams. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here. they've been doing or not doing hey why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim especially at the start you want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm taking a look at los angeles they've got miracle man wilson out there with cowboy then there's john morant and it's the monster in at the center position barnes passes to auto buyer Patient player Tatum fine with taking what the defense gives him. Los Angeles leading by eight. Here's Miracle Man. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Yeah, you, you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Neto kicks to McCullough. Here in the second quarter with a little over a minute gone. Craig, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I played, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches for two and three minutes. And, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more, uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And if you still look at the, the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. Here's McCollum. Got a hand on it. And, and they continue to control the glass. Here's Miracle Man. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And now an 11-point Los Angeles lead. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. A three from McCollum. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. The Monsters got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Leonard, no luck. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. And that one's good, Barnes. Offensively, McCollum sees the floor well. Not surprised to see him spot the open teammate. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. And as fans and broadcasters were not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. Beals checked in for Miracle Man. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. On deep, Neto. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. The Monsters got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Tyler, no good. Trailblazers trail by nine. 
Stolen by Wilson. And oh, here we go with Leonard. Nobody back. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. Any chance you get. You want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Damian Lillard's checked in for Portland. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the Monster. ABC comes in for Tyler. Money's checked in for Magician. And it's John Morant in for Leonard. And it's good for two. Almost unstoppable on the drive. Lillard's talent for ball handling, letting him just cut through the defense. Three on three. Oh, Tatum in position. Hammers the alley-oop through. Man, and Tatum gets up on these alley-oops. Has a great grasp of when to attack and exploit the opponent. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Bridges checks in. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. McCollum against Beal. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. And B, the pass to money. Tries again. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. For Los Angeles, they have made all of their free throws so far tonight, going six for six. And the first one at the line is good. A different look now for Portland. Kemp comes in for Bam Adebayo. And it's Keith and for Jason Tatum. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for Portland. Nine-point game. Beal against McCollum. Shoots over Beal. A quick back, and Embiid pulls it down. Los Angeles has gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Morant, good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Morant's got the lead up to 11 now for Los Angeles. Here's Lillard. He had 35 points last game out. And it's McCollum off the drive. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. And the three ball is good. And this is his bread and butter. Give Beal these looks from deep, and he is going to knock them down. Pass to Keefe. Alert against Morant. Good on that shot, and with that, the Los Angeles. lead is cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Damian Lillard. Los Angeles calls timeout and it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Los Angeles has gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Miracle man the pass to the monster. Great D that time from Kemp. Trailblazers have gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. A three from McCollum. Rebound by Tyler. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. Here's the monster. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they've stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. Trailblazers trail by 13. Right side, Kemp. Back to Lillard. 
Wilson against Bridges. Shot clock at six. Can't cash in on the 10-foot jumper. Just strong work defensively there in the low post. You got to be tough down in the paint. He did a nice job of keeping him off the block. Didn't let him get deep post position. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. And so it's Los Angeles riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports. And guys for Los Angeles, Kenny, give us your tip. Boy, it was rough down there in the paint. And they were just dominant, taking it to the rack. But that's what you have to be willing to do. Take the action to the heart. And that'll... As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Miracle Man having a dominant impact in this. Yeah, something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Yeah, in the first half, he took on the role of playmaker. I think it surprised the defense a little bit. Gave this offense a different dimension. Pairing up in the backcourt, Lillard and McCollum. Made him out there with Adebayo. And it's Barnes in at the three, the small forward. That's the group on the floor for Portland. And we just got a second look there at the exceptional mobile one block. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Like so many people know your story, born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons, right. but to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling, and yes, it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. We felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up a foul. That is his first foul of the game. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Here's McCollum. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. For Los Angeles, they have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. The first one falls. Raul Neto's checked in for McCollum. Leonard hits them both. Here is Lillard. 18 points for him. It's tipped, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will retain possession. Goes up off the inbound, and Adebayo throws it down. Los Angeles leading by 17. And they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. And in every since halftime, they played precision basketball offensively. You know, the coach has had something to say about that. No question, they've settled in and executed brilliantly. From deep, Neto. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And finished off by Leonard. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into timeout, a rhythm, timeout. and they're knocking down everything. Now a timeout called by Portland. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots, you have to want to make the effort. Here's the lob to Lillard. A 
guy who spaces the floor, but also willing to attack the rim. Lillard has confounded the defense all night. Great tee that time from Adebayo. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Los Angeles leading by 19 points. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. I tell you, he's playing the game with pure excitement right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious hang time on the rim. Neto, the pass to Lillard. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. performance from him not the case for everyone else on his team this is his second trip to the line in this one gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season how about over 90 percent Los Angeles making a switch here. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the monster. ABC comes in for Tyler. Money's checked in for Magician. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Miracle Man. Los Angeles making a switch here. Morant's checked in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Lillard, the pass to Barnes. Here's Neto. Tatum deciding where to go with it. Lillard way outside. Again, the miss by the Trailblazers. He had six points from long range in the first half, but nothing's fallen here since. Beal from long range. And he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass. And that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Neto with the bucket. Los Angeles leading by 20. Here's Moran. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It goes on Jason Tatum. Every team is looking for that star to lead them to great things. Morant already looks the part. A different look now for Portland. Kemp's checked in for Otto Bio. Keith comes in for Raul Neto. And Mikael Bridges subbed in for Barnes. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That's foul number two for him. Hey, Smitty, Steve Kerr talked about how Michael Jordan scared his teammates into becoming better players. Would that kind of approach, you think, work today with players entering the league? You know, I think you have to be careful, yes. But I think on a general, if you're looking at a just a blank sheet of paper on how to get guys motivated, I think it takes the leaders, which it starts with ownership, management, coach, and best players. If they work hard and they see the blueprint that way, they usually follow. Here's Embiid, the 15-footer. Good. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Lillard scanning the floor. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. First free throw is good. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. A.J. McCollum, he's checked in for Portland. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. The Monsters checked in for Joel Embiid. Magician comes in for money. Leonard, he's checked in for Beal. And it's Miracle Man in for Morant. Pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. Time out, you know what out. it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Now a timeout called by Portland. It's been quite a game for Miracle Man. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. Los Angeles leading by 22. Oh, and
and there's the alley-oop. Kemp with the steal. And the foul called on ABC. That's his third foul so far. Bonus situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. And not the guy you want to send to the line. He has been automatic. Los Angeles making a switch here. Tyler's checked in. Wearing the number zero for a reason. Damian Lillard has it on his back for his city, Oakland. Just the latest star from the town. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. Pass to Kemp. And he banks in the layup. Yeah, quick thinking wins Dane assist. Finds the open man and the ball instantly there for the finish. Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. And Portland making a change here. Adebayo's checked in. And Lillard kicks to Adebayo. The pass to McCollum. He feeds it to Lillard. Pulls from the top of the key, and that one goes long. Easy chance from mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Stolen. Fast break, here they come. Here's Miracle Man. Oh. Look out, here he comes. Oh, that wow. was amazing, and look Woo. at the elevation. And I think that play sort of sums up what we've seen tonight. Just simply being outplayed both sides of the ball. Smart basketball defensively turning into easy points. And at the end of the third quarter, a huge lead in this one may already have been decided. Los Angeles. Terry Stotts had some advice for his team. Let's hear what he had to say. It's a long game. It's a long game. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Cowboy is out there with the monster. Then it's the kid. Then it's magician. And it's Miracle Man in at the point guard. And a wide open look for McCullum at three off the mark. The thing is, you want to do everything you can to help your team, and sometimes you just try to do too much. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. It's a winning approach when you execute. That's the key. They're playing fast, but also under control. Lillard with the bucket. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. McCollum dishes to Lillard. Leonard with the steal. And here again, Los Angeles in transition. Up the court they go. Oh, that's an old-fashioned rim rack. Uh, just a remarkable gem. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. McCollum finds Lillard. And the Miracle Man is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second foul of... The game and Smitty we see the success and the great talent level in the WNBA do you ever think we're gonna see a woman on an NBA roster well Kevin that's a good question let's look at the history of the game we've had two women drafted Denise Long back in 1969 and Lucia Harris in 1977 I will say this Kevin I do believe so I think in my era there's one player I got a chance to watch and play against that could have played for sure was Cheryl Miller. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. 
Powell the pass to Forbes. Six on the shot clock. Neto can't get it to go. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Connects again. Up and up he goes as he continues this sensational season. Now closing in on second place in scoring. And G.A., with the way he has manhandled defenses all year long, you have to think he'll make a good run for it. And to even come near Wilt's mark of 3,586 points from back in 63 speaks volumes for the season he's had. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Oh, why dunk you very much. Uh, he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. And Forbes kicks to Valentine. It's deflected. Another block. They recover it. And another shot. Here's Forbes. And finally, that one's good. Forbes has got his first bucket in this one. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. And so it's Neto with the ball. He'll bring it up for Portland. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here, there's the feed to Forbes. It doesn't go for him. For Los Angeles, they've gotten it done so far from the field here in the fourth, going six for seven. Beyond the arc, and he's good on the three ball. Money's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Portland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Neto, the pass to Forbes. Back to Neto. The 15 footer. That one wide left. For Los Angeles, they've gotten seven of their eight shots to fall here in the fourth. A tremendous offensive output. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Well, players now, Steve, seem to have a lot more power to demand a. Ray, talk about what that does for the future of small market teams. You know, Kevin, I think let's to be honest, it makes it tougher for the small market teams. The one solution I think is if you have a team that is very close knit, if you get the right superstar and he's happy, if you have a chance to maybe win a championship that keeps those stars in place. And Cowboy is going to pick up the foul. his first foul and Los Angeles with some changes Wilson he's checked in for money Beal comes in for Leonard and it's Miracle Man in for Morant now here's Valentine hot pass to Bryant here's Miracle Man and there's the slam dunk to finish it off and we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker beautiful pass there One fifty-two left in the fourth. Here's Neto. Inside. And there's the whistle. Three. Three second violation. And when you're trying to cut into a lead, you can ill afford mistakes like that. You know what it is. A lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. And so here's Portland. 130 left in the fourth quarter. Al Smitty, you were a player with versatility and length. How much fun would you have had with today's style of play? I think, Kevin, I was the guy that kind of played one through three at 6'8". But nowadays, I could have played one through five. I would have loved playing the five position. Reason why, I could have got my shot off at any time I wanted. And the three-point shot, Kevin, you can take 10, 12 three-pointers. I would have loved that. 
And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Los Angeles. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And in the win-loss column, tonight's game will push their record up to 54 wins on the year. And this will be their third win in three tries against these guys. They match up so well. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Miracle Man. I'll tell you, his shot blocking made a big impact. Whether it was on the ball or rotating over to help, he provided the intimidation factor this defense needed. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. 27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. Inspired tonight they fought hard and at crucial points just made the plays especially during this last run which ultimately put the game away and he commits the intentional foul really no idea why You're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Los Angeles calls timeout. They lead by 40. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. What's your take, guys? And the game pretty much over. Curious timeout here. In my opinion, I think they're looking. to make a substitution but let's see out of the timeout here is Forbes and so they choose to intentionally foul the free throw drops for Bryant Bryant hits them both 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter and that's an intentional foul. And the first one drops. Good on both. Seven seconds left to play here in the fourth. Uh, yeah, they've sucked the energy out of this arena. Tremendous effort on the road. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. And that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it.